Hi, my name is Carly Oakler and this is my presentation for educators inquiring about the world. Today, my presentation will open the door and welcome you to information regarding sustainable farming practices that farmers implement into everyday tasks right here in Queensland. Sustainable practices being implemented into such a big production of crops, livestock and resources seems like a daunting task. But your farmers around Queensland and Australia have shown that nothing is too big or too small as well as that the time for change is now. This acquisition will look at sustainable farming practices, differences between traditional and modern day farming practices, a traditional background story, an uh, overview of the Great Barrier Reef, what was learned throughout this process and finally what needs to be done further. Please note that this topic is research based and informative only and I encourage you to form your own opinions. My family are third generation sugarcane farmers in far north Queensland with a passion for sustainability. There are over 17,000 different varieties of farms across Queensland alone. Growing up on a sugarcane farm has given me a unique opportunity to experience firsthand the impacts of the legislations issued by the Queensland State Government. Cost, time and well-being are only some of the impacts on farmers that have been noticeable since these legislations have been ruled out, some as far as 2011. The sugarcane industry of Queensland makes up approximately 2,000 kilometres of the coastline. This is important to note because that is such a wide distance that is predominantly used for crops that not many people would realise. The beautiful beaches and the pristine waters are only the cusp of what Queensland and Australia have to offer. My family's farm is located only 85 kilometres from the coastline of Queensland that is bordered by the Great Barrier Reef. To briefly mention, the Great Barrier Reef has an area of approximately 133,000 square miles that offers protection to the coast of Queensland. The Great Barrier Reef has a plethora of different species of marine life and corals. The Great Barrier Reef and the impacts of farming is such a taboo topic that sparks conversation in many debates. Protecting the Great Barrier Reef stems from a personal desire, so the implementation of sustainable farming practices to help assist in the restoration and rehabilitation of the Great Barrier Reef is a personal endeavour, not only to me, but my family and their family and their cane farming community as well. My family regularly enjoys the Great Barrier Reef and seeing it destroyed is heart-wrenching. Through my acquisition for this subject, I have learnt the following. In the industrial section plays a larger part than farming in the suspicion of the breakdown of the Great Barrier Reef, according to James Cook University students' research papers. Since the implementation of sustainable legislation, many of near-death ecosystems within the Great Barrier Reef, such as the seagrass, have since restored on rehabilitation stages, so what the farmers are doing and what we're doing as a state seems to be working. Queensland farmers and companies that assist in the development of farmers such as the cane growers have been awarded prestigious awards in summits around the world. The most recent one was from the World Sugar Cane Industry in the UK in 2016 that recognised the sustainable sugar cane standards and congratulated growers on their efforts. The Reef 2050 Long-Term Sustainability Plan was created in 2015. The partnership between the Cane Growth Association and the Queensland State Government ensured that a research-based inquiry was developed to target the important attributes of sustainability and the longevity of the Great Barrier Reef. SmartCane BMP stated that over 15% of sugarcane farmers in Queensland are certified in three sustainability modules that accredit the farmers and their lands as sustainable. This is an enormous feat and I commend all farmers trying to do the right thing and create a future for Australians in the Great Barrier Reef. As a nation, we need to adapt sustainable practices into our daily lives. Simple tasks like switching out plastic one-use items for biodegradable ones is just the beginning. Lastly, supporting our farmers can help in a multitude of ways. Supporting local can help farmers afford the implementations of sustainability laws and legislations, as well as afford to continue to provide for our country. From the evidence gathered for this acquisition, a clear message has allowed us to draw connections and sympathise with the farmers of Queensland. Being sustainable is hard, however, with the right practice and the determination, it's not impossible. Thank you for listening and viewing my presentation today. I hope this has enlightened you to the plethora of knowledge you didn't have before. Have a great day.